there she is, there she blows. The um, Love in the First Degree prison outfit that I did my tumbling act in. Have you not got the hat? Did, we didn't wear hats, that was Oh, the we had wigs wore. on though. Oh yeah. Really long, stupid wigs. Nylon again. wigs. Yeah, they didn't even look good to begin with, really. No. And they were a mess after the tumbling, weren't they? Yes, uh, <laughs> boy, the boys, we decided to put in very small, not particularly macho, striped underpants, really, weren't they? Yes, they were. But we had um, incredible and hats. Tumble, a tumbling team. We got the idea from um, Morecambe and Wise, who were a comic duo from the sort of 70s. Yeah. And uh, they did... <laughs> Was on it, the town, is it? Is it on the town? Yes, I did. The, 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 the tumbling and then... On the town with Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly, I believe. Yeah. And they did a tumbling routine with um, sort of news readers and different cameo roles from people. So we decided to sort of emulate that. That's the right word. Yes. I believe I wore that and I just had my hair cut short in that video. And that's my little... Bolero jacket. Mm. What did you have on? Because that was all I made. I had a bolero but... jacket. Like this? Yes. What, with this on? Yes. Not with the purple. Mine okay. didn't have purple on it. But um, it was very similar. This was another of our favourite designers at the time, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, this skirt I wore to death. I mean, it is ripped. Yeah. It was one of the ones we wore in the Newcastle nightclub where we had a fight <laughs> with Paul Cavalier and he ripped. It's got a big rip down the back, which I had to stitch up. I, don't know if I, I had a red one as well that I just loved. Red. red? It had a red one with the black stripe down the middle with the metal <laughs> on it. And these little jewel tops, I think I had a bra as well and we wore that and I yes. can't help it. Um, we went shopping in Melrose Avenue in LA, which was just really cool at the time. And um, well, the, we wore the glitter bras and the I can't, um, the Herb Ritz shoe. Yes. And the I can't help it video where Sarah wore Melrose. this gem. Can you get from Melrose as well? Yeah. I love those earrings. I don't know where the other one is. Huge, but actually. Aren't they? Heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. But that's actually it looks like it's just someone's corset with a few jewels on. Yeah. Probably we... paid a hefty price for it. <laughs> I imagine so. <laughs> But th that was great shopping. It was so exciting get getting to that street and just trolling up and down with, with oh, all the clothes. I love goatee. They had the, the jackets kind of have big shoulders and, yeah. and, and loads of goatee and stuff. Goatee. 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 And we used to like a bit of Osbeck. And, oh yeah, Reefat we? Osbeck. Uh, it's a lovely Reefat. Yeah. And who else? Anthony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. John Richmond. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just supposing there's any jaded viewer out there who thinks, ah, oh, it's just another award show. I tell you, you have seen nothing like this. Banana Rama. <laughs> These were our lovely dresses from um, our last performance with Siobhan at the Brit Awards. Um, it's absolutely tiny. Really? Yes. <laughs> Worn with the flattering black. Tight and a flat and a shoe. Thick shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great performance. Yeah, there. I think we all look great. I, I just bleached one, well, personally, but I think it might have been Josh Woods, the hairdresser, who had bleached my hair white and it was short. Siobhan's was red in a little bob, which Siobhan's looked great, and black yours bob. was black. So we were like all different colours and yeah, in matching dresses. That was a great last performance. Certainly was. We dressed our dancers, which though I think there were about 20 dancers. They all had stockings, black stockings and leggings, you know, yeah, stocking yes. type things. And black pants. And black pants. So that was, like it, it was so shocking at the time, not for us obviously, but um, yeah, the crowd went crazy. Crazy. This is my um, lovely Galliano dress, a uh, skirt, absolutely love. Um, I wore that in a photo shoot for, um, with Russell Young for I Want You Back. And on many a Top of the Pops, it was very flattering with the larger belt. Yes, yeah, quite a high waister. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it so really doesn't love it me anymore.
we were also partial to endless amounts of oh. corsets, the Westwood corsets, the bustier. Yeah. Have you got your bustier there, Cass? I've got a black mm -hmm. one without sleeves, and then I've got a black one with sleeves, which I white also like. Well, we wore those white, white ones in Japan, actually. Japan. Just me and you, Japan. Oh, Japan. so I didn't prove anyway. your love, yeah. That was a bit when later, we later yeah. yeah. We wore those. I wore with mine with the, Dries van Noten's skirts. They which I were, loved. they were Dries. Um, a bit of a fixture in our lives courses, yes. weren't they? I think You've it's got quite those. a look for What's us. Those? Well, these ones. Oh yes. These ones we both got. Top. I only save stuff that I think I can wear for fancy dress, which is why I haven't got much. I hate <laughs> fancy dress. I have got. I just leave mine to rot in a box. <laughs> <laughs> these we wore on the '89 World Tour. Didn't yes. We? With, with our um, jeans and cowboy hats. Yeah. And yeah. I think I had a little white top under it. Yes, we did. I love that look. Oh, they'd and be so unflattering now. We used to, so these are a couple for another that are pretty fab did. that yeah. we got made. Um, getting all glitzy. Always a problem when it laces up the back. Bit tricky they to are get great now, aren't they? But they are brilliant, yeah. Can you hold your red one up? Yes, we're holding that one. Love oh, that one. This one's a halter and that one's spaghetti tight. straps. <laughs> Adjustable. Oh, it'd look quite nice with his blouse underneath, wouldn't it? I'm liking that look. Yes. I should the, have worn the, it. The bustier was very, very popular. Yes. I think, um, Love, Truth and Honesty we used to wear. There's yeah. loads of um, Italian TVs where we wore. Did we, where we performed Love, Truth and Honesty in these huge amphitheatres and we always had these sort of... Yeah, they're brilliant. ...boosted with a scarf tied amazing. to our jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. Another thing I found in my dressing up box was this impossibly small <laughs> sequin mermaid dress, which we had made, I think, when we were doing shows at the Budokan. In Japan. Uh, in Tokyo. Japan. And as much as it's probably not allowed to happen. It was based on, look at the tattered oh, straps. It was based on a Gautier dress that I loved, which had three straps at the back. And mine has vanished. I think someone gave it away. It'll, It'll be, be in an a exhibition. museum. It'll be yeah. in a museum somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <laughs> I love that fabric. We got it that. so in, amazing. Was it in Borovix? Borovix. In, um, we spent a lot of time street? in Borovix. Uh, Broadwick Street. Broadwick no. Street. Mm. Is it? Well, it might be. Where the Berwick, Berwick, Berwick Street. Berwick. Yeah. Berwick. Yeah. And these were our um, yeah. Gautier fishnet tops, which we wore for the Ellen Von Unworth shoot. God, we loved these. We did. I certainly got our money's worth out of yes. those. <laughs> They were so great. I particularly... And what, did we wear that in a, in a video? I'm not sure we did. Uh, no, I don't think we just did. Just on the cover. Under. And then for the promo of Preacher Man, my favourite outfit was my go-to fishnet top. Teamed with... Yeah, we had those for a tour somewhere. Because I had a pair. Yes. And they were from... Um, Kensington Market. Kensington Market. We had them... Uh, Red Bulls of Fire, it says on them. They were spoke. made, made yeah. to measure. I don't know where mine went, but I know the dancers, I've always wore them. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great little look. I wasn't love that it? look. I think that's possibly my favourite look. Did we wear that in the States on tour, those? We may have done. But you give love a bad name, or was that just the No, boys? no. Maybe not. I know I wore it on uh, Top of the Pops when we did Preacher Man. Ah yes, the Only Your Love video. The fabulous Moogler dresses and the cool sunglasses. That was a tip-top look. They <laughs> love very dresses. stylish. <laughs> now, who remembers these? Now that does still fit because it's expandable at the back. <laughs> With the laces, not neck. hugely comfortable. Oh but, gosh, yes, but made, so uncomfortable. Made by Anthony Price, and it's got such a fishtail at the bottom that you actually can't take any kind of big, big mine's step. Got, in mine's it. got um, it's got a train at the back, <sighs> but it comes in so Do you tight. Know what? And the fabric is so lovely. What is that fabric? Yeah? It's a, a silk 
crepe. Oh, silk crepe. Is what it is. Satin backed, silk yeah. satin backed crepe. So Tone measured us for these by <laughs> using um, chicken wire, which he fashioned around our body and plied us in. Yeah. Rather than taking normal measurements, he just got and the shape and built it. it on and he it. had lots of um, different people, obviously, that he made dresses for. And all the bodies would be under, under, table. under his table. <laughs> and we used to pull them out and, and say, well, who's this, who's this? But he would never tell us who they were. So, say, mm, that's a big one, who's that? <laughs> so rude. They are absolutely amazing. They are so incredible. So beautifully dressed. As I said, not very comfortable. And also, though. we were such huge fans of Roxy Music back in the day, and he was good friends with Brian Ferry and the lovely Jerry Hall. And uh, it was just incredible to have gone from sort of our young teens thinking about those people, yeah. being fans mm -hmm. of them, and then to actually have Anthony Price make us a dress. But it was, was kind amazing. of, what was the film we were doing? Sort of Marilyn like Monroe and... Some, no. No, Gentlemen Prefer yeah. Blondes yeah. was the idea oh, yeah. for Marilyn it, wasn't it? Marilyn and Jane, and Jane Russell. Yeah. I think, but absolutely amazing to have. Possibly my only the only thing you kept. to measure. Well, that's only because I wore it for, for Jessica Rabbit and fancy dress. Oh, you <laughs> fancy dress. What else are you going to wear it for? <laughs> I'm going to get married in it. <laughs> A bit late for that, Cass. <laughs> I know. Red dresses were worn in the Moving On video and the fantastic artwork was done by the brilliant Roland Moore, who also directed us in um, Every Shade of Blue. Yes, directed what a talent! <laughs> I love this uh, Kate Garner shoot uh, for Ultraviolet. Starred by the lovely David Thomas, our good friend, and um, I love the sort of vinyl -y PVC stuff and we also had the Transparent ones we wore with the great big puffball skirts. Isabel Christensen. Yeah. And yeah. I'm wearing your choker, which yeah. I always want to say is from Lambert and Butler, but it's actually Butler, Butler and Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where we bought so much stuff, yeah. didn't we? Back in the day in South Malton Street. That was a good hair piece you've got there, isn't that it? That was a good hair piece. I wonder who popped that one on. It looks very like um, Amy Winehouse, doesn't it? Yeah. Amy Winehouse hair. It's cool. The corset theme continued through moving my direction. And look on the floor, really. Yes, as did the Westwood skirts. That was the one I wore in um, Look on the Floor. lovely isn't it yeah the, the beauty of a westwood skirt. skirt is it won't just look like a plain skirt there's always a little yeah. tweak or a fold or you love the looks in the love come video yeah especially the fabulous union jack dresses that was um harvey b brown the director fabulous that harvey b brown artistic harvey. genius <laughs> Thank you all for watching and we hope you enjoyed stepping back in time with us. <laughs>